Hey friends out in YouTube land, Senva here, back for another video! What? Who are you? I'm here today um, just because I wanted to do some more really fun Obitsu videos. Because if those of you who are in love with other dolls out there in the doll world, um, Barbie made this really cool Barbie called Made to Move and um, she's supposedly the ultimate posable Barbie. Yeah, I got her and so today we're gonna compare bodies from Obitsu to the Barbie Made to Move. I'm not gonna go too much about the history and background about Barbie and all that other fun stuff, but what I can tell you is that I know Barbie has been evolving greatly um, within these past few years with uh, making different kinds of Barbies which is fantastic you know they have um, a line of Barbies that come in different sizes and shapes and colors which is really cool and Obitsu these guys have been around for a while as well um, and they're just known to be very customizable um, from bust sizes to heights to heads that you can buy um, and to replaceable parts such as the hands that you can change out. First up we gotta open her up. I would also like to mention that I do appreciate how Obitsus are shipped. They usually come and I'm, I'm, I wish I had a bag. They usually just come like in a little bag with their little body inside and when you order the heads they come in separate little bags for the heads and the body parts. Everything is in bags and you just open them up. Barbie, why do you why do you chain her up like a prisoner in the box and we have to spend like 30 minutes taking her out and why why did you tag her head it's like the tags like for like clothing and now I have to now I have to cut that off and I think one of them just came out of your head but she is free but I'm just like Barbie can you please not now that she is free a couple of things if you um don't also know about this, which is a cool comparison as well. Um, with Obitsu dolls, you can actually buy them with rooted hair, like this girl here. That means that the synthetic hair that is in the doll is attached to the head. So this is not gonna come off. You know, they 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 string it inside of the head, I guess you can imagine it that way. Um, or you can actually purchase Obitsus without rooted hair and buy them wigs, which is really cool because it's very similar to the larger scale BJD friends that are super customizable that you can change out the wigs and things like that. And she even has a tiny little wig cap on too uh, to help it stay on and in position. I'm gonna go ahead and remove her clothes. Oh, they made little Barbie underwear! That's a first. Maybe have I not bought a Barbie in like a long time? Is that like a normal thing? Wow, this is what I wanted to see. I was curious on whether or not she had any other jointing. So she has a torso joint, which is pretty darn cool. So this is the torso joint that makes her go from side to side. That is pretty awesome. There you go. One point back to Barbie. But dang, okay, look at that. Those hips. That's a interesting. It's an interesting gap, but it's so that way she can move it all the way around. So she has this uh, extra thigh gap down here, um, so that way she has mobility to move. Let's go ahead and undress the obesa really quickly, um, so that way we can kind of look at what she looks like underneath, so you guys can get a better idea. One other really cool thing, which I will try in a few seconds right now, is in order to help you take off clothing, they do have removable parts. That includes the arms on the obitsus, the hands on the obitsus, torso, so that way you don't have to struggle here sitting taking things off, and then you just pull your body parts through your uh, clothing. Again, um, I don't think these are the same category of size of dolls. Nah, she's a little bit shorter, so I don't remember, she's probably the 25 centimeter, but they do make 27 centimeter females as well, um, which I think is what the standard size of Barbie is. I don't know, someone has to check my Here they are, side by side. As you can see, they do have already some just differences with bust and torso and how they appear. But again, Obitsu has many different body types that you can purchase. Um, as far as skin types, however, I don't think they have anything other than normal skin 
and white skin at this time. Barbie kind of has a one up on that as well. So you'll see that that gap that this, that the Barbie has here is not apparent on this one. So automatically that's going to tell me that her leg, they can go like up like this. Our friend over here, it can also go up like that because of the soft final she has, but it's slightly off to the side. I mean, this is very minor stuff. There's like a few casting things here. I don't know if you can see them, little casting imperfections, like little bubbles here. Obitsu's makes theirs pretty darn smooth. And you see like a, this little seam line thing here. But everything else looks pretty clean. They both do have that, that torso joint, which is pretty awesome. Um, which enables them to move side to side. Um, so we do have torso going side to side. It looks like Barbie's is pretty darn good compared to Obitsu's here because it's... It's not as side to side, but again, let me mention again, this is the vinyl body. They actually do make, because um, Barbie's is not a soft vinyl. This is just like a like a plastic, I don't know, like PVC or something like that, plastic. This one is a soft bust, so everything in this torso is squishy, as if you were squishing a Barbie head. They do make a version that is a hard plastic body um, that also has the articulation there at that joint in the torso. <clears throat> so um, even though the soft vinyl might not be able to do it as well, the plastic version, which this guy has, moves just like the Barbie would. So it goes from side to side. If you're looking at the arms here, um, they have a part here that will make the upper arm area swivel. And Barbie has hers a bit higher onto the arm. Um, they have the elbow here that can bend at that 90 degree. Barbies can fold all the way in. So can Obitsu's. Um, it is interesting though because the jointing in that area is more elongated on the Barbie than it is on the Obitsu. So you'll see here. As far as the hands are concerned, it looks like they tried to do very similar models, but the ball section for the wrist is more prevalent on the Obitsu. I think it may, looks more like a wrist, more than like a cuff, like on a shirt. Um, but the range of movement for both of them seem pretty on key. They both can kind of do the same degree of movement. So another really cool thing about Obitsu is, like I said, all parts are removable. You can take off the hand because you can buy other hand pieces um, that you can insert. There are some that can hold things, ones that have like cutie poses and things like that um, for Obitsu. I don't know if Barbie's hands come off, let's find out. I don't know if they're intended to come off to be honest with you. Um, so it does come off but I'm not sure if it was intended to come off because I don't think Barbie really like makes alternate parts like other hands that you can buy. Um, so I mean that was kind of a, a that was kind of a pull to take her hand out. So I, it kind of makes me think that you weren't really supposed to take her hands off and to do like Barbie. Mm -mm. Ugh. No, I'm gonna say that Barbie's not intended to take off her pieces like Obitsu does. Because that is somewhat of a negative for Obitsu at times, I feel. Because eventually what happens is that you, taking off the piece, putting it on, anytime that you're doing that, you're wearing at the plastic itself. So it becomes loose, essentially. So like I have a girl over here, I think it's this one, and her foot comes off very easily now um, because you know, it's just the time and stuff, it's, it's just like this. There are some solutions in order to kind of help, um, kind of, you know, remedy it, unless you want to buy a completely new part, or for some of these you might have to buy a completely new body. Um, but people have said if you put clear nail polish, like a layer of clear nail polish, that that helps. Looking back here to uh, the thighs, um, interestingly enough, there is no real swiveling thigh joint down here for obesity on this ground. I don't think I've seen it 
on anyone else, really. Um, not even the larger Obitsus, I think, have swiveling thighs. But it looks like I could be wrong. Let's test it out. Barbie, maybe. Ah, look at that. Barbie has it, and it has a stopping point, too. So it only rotates to a certain degree. So probably out, outward, the feet to go outward, kind of ballerina style. And inward, it stops. That's pretty cool. Barbie, got a swiveling thigh joint. That's, that's a pretty good plus. You really don't rotate the obitsu legs per se, but they do have, unlike Barbie down here, a rotating piece down here by the knee. So this rotates. Moving down to the knees, uh, again, you'll see they have that elongated piece down here as to where Obitsu's kind of looks more like a plus and it's inward versus outward. But I feel like the articulation is going to be pretty spot on for both. Her leg, the Obitsu can go all the way to almost her bottom. Same thing with this girl here. So very similar. Going down to the feet, foot can move up, can point upwards. So can Obitsu's. Although Obitsu feet look very flat compared to Barbie feet, which have more of a curve to them. And they can point down to a certain extent. One positive to Obitsu is that you can buy dolls that have a magnetic foot. So when you look down at the feet here, Barbie's feet are just, you know, normal feet. But the Obitsus have these circles here, these little magnets. So I actually went out and dug out the stand that they come with if you buy the magnetic bot. They're usually about this small for them to stand on. And, uh, but again, it can be any metal plate that you can get. Like, so let's go ahead and do a little standing test here on my table. Because Obitsu feet are pretty flat, she should be able to stand pretty good. Granted, my table is kind of got like a funny surface to it, but that's cool. All right, so that's her in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, that's a major balancing there. I feel like it was fast, it was quicker for me to stand um, the Obitsu doll than it was for her. Well, let's go ahead and show you that Obitsu stand real quick because I feel like that Obitsu stand is so versatile and really cool. So you just put the plate down and then you can do like a whole bunch of stuff. Like you can have her like, you know, I'm reading a book on an invisible chair. I think that's pretty cool. I feel like the metal stand adds a lot, adds a lot to it. And I know Barbie can probably go ahead and pose, do these poses as well, the actual pose, but I'm not sure about standing to do it independently. I don't know if this is make it or break it to some people, but if you're looking for a doll like for, for art references and things like that, I mean, I know a lot of people buy Obitsus for that reason, I imagine you can probably do the same, but I, I guess this would get kind of frustrating because she can't do it by herself. But again, you could buy a doll stand for her and kind of stand her up this way. So a lot of people were telling me that the yoga dolls actually vary in price. The one that I purchased was trademarked in 2016. She's like a yoga version. So mine was 34 on Amazon. But from what other people have been telling me, they've seen ranges for 15 to 20. So I guess it just kind of depends on where you buy and like what version you buy. So that might change things for some people. Obitsu's on the other hand, that's going to depend on what you decide to get. It's very much cafeteria style. You have to choose what you want down from the body, whether you want like this hard plastic kind of body or you want a soft bust body, what size of bust you want, do you want magnetic feet, do you not want magnetic feet, all those little things will factor into the price. So you could easily buy a super affordable Obitsu that might be comparable to the same prices as Barbie. Um, 
but chances are you're probably going to spend more. I hope this video helped out and I hope it was kind of informative or interesting to you guys. I know Barbie's technically not in the BJD realm and sometimes these smaller scale obitsis are not in the BJD realm. But I felt like it was a cool thing to kind of show you guys and showcase with you all. So if you'd like to buy your own obitsu doll, a great place to check out would be the Junkie Spot. That is www.junkiespot.com. They do sell the bodies and the heads and all the other fun accessories for them there on that website. They are US based, so if you live within the US, it should come to you pretty quickly. And all the items that they have on the website are in stock. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook. I do have a Facebook page, Sunda BJD. Um, and I have those all in the description bar link down below. Hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll check you out in another video very soon. Goodbye!